This is Taylor Levesque with your News in 90. UF breaks ground on a new stadium. The facility will be built near the softball and lacrosse complexes on the southwest side of campus. The field will replace an Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences Grove once home to citrus and peach trees. University of Florida Athletic Director Scott Strickland says they assisted IFAS with the cost of transitioning the trees and replacing irrigation systems. Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker is testifying before the House Judiciary Committee. Democrats questioned Whitaker about his ties to President Trump and his role in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. Whitaker claimed executive privilege regarding conversations he's had with the president, but strongly stated he has not communicated with the White House nor has interfered with Mueller's investigation. Whitaker was visibly frustrated with the aggressive line of questioning coming from the House Judiciary Committee. William Barr is expected to be confirmed as Attorney General next week, taking Whitaker off the hot seat. The Trump administration is refusing to meet a deadline imposed by Congress to release information on the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The report was supposed to determine whether Saudi Arabia's crown prince is responsible for the murder of the Washington Post journalist in Istanbul. The Trump administration says the president has the authority to decline requests from Congress when appropriate. The White House's decision to withhold information comes a day after a New York Times report claimed Mohammed bin Salam told a top aide he would use a bullet on Khashoggi, according to intelligence reports. Congress is urging President Trump to decide whether or not the prince is responsible for a violation of human rights. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.